Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, I am doing this video separate from my May haul because it is my Erin Condren launch order haul. Um, so since I ordered quite a few things in this package I decided to do this separately. Um, so I have only opened it to check and make sure that my address wasn't showing inside. I have not really looked at anything yet so I haven't even seen it. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and jump right in. Um, if I can get stuff out of my way. Um, so on top you get the little to and from label, like always, and then a postcard, and this is super cute. It's the new Woven Wonder design on the back of it, which is adorable. Um, okay, I'm not quite sure why I got the welcome package, because I've definitely ordered quite a few times. Um, I've seen this happen to other people before as well. I think they just accidentally grab them every once in a while. Um, so that's interesting. Um, but so they gave me the welcome package. I'll just go through it really quickly since I didn't film it the first time I got it. It looks like it has changed a little bit from when I got it originally. Um, so it just has a little card with a code on it for 10% off and some information about the rewards program and then just a selection of different labels that you can use for gifts and things. And I do have a really nice collection of these labels and I really like them so totally fine. It's cool, whatever. A little weird that I got it but not a big deal. Um, so then this is just telling you what your freebies are that come with the planner. I'm not really sure why it is sitting on top, um, but it's just a little explanation of what the things are because in the plan for it pouch there's always several goodies. And it's usually some compliment cards, a code to get a discount on your next purchase, the coil clip so that you can put the pouch in if you want it, and then this year it has some more labels with the Woven Wonder. It's been different things every year, so just a little explanation of that. Alright, so I'm going to actually open, and I apologize that there is ink all over my hands. I'm a teacher. I just got home from work. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, okay, so yay. Uh, so I did order on launch day, um, so I got the reusable tote in the Woven Wonder. Um, so, sorry, I do have the painted petals one already, so now I have Woven Wonder as well. So it's just a nice little reusable tote bag with a little elastic to hold it together. I'm sorry, I'm trying to make sure everything is in frame. Um, I did order two luggage tags. I'm not going to flip them over because they do have my phone number and my email address on them, and I don't want that, like, shared with the world um, but I got them in the starry okay well it doesn't say anywhere on the packaging what it's called and I don't have a or an invoice so I can't tell you what it's called um, but it's the stars one and I don't remember the colors but if anyone is interested in knowing that information you can ask down in the comments and I can go look it up and let you know um, but I went ahead and got those because I'm actually going to a conference this summer and I thought they would be handy. Uh, next thing in here is a pack of the metallic date dots. Um, I needed like another three dollars. These were six and I thought they were really cute. So I got the rose gold ones. Um, so it's 12 sheets for six bucks. I thought that was a really good deal for these. Um, so I went ahead and grabbed those. And then the colorful, colorful circles sticker pack. I grabbed a sheet of this or a set of this as well. So it's got three sheets in there. Um, this planner that I'm showing you right now is what I'm using instead of the teacher planner for the 2018-2019 school year and I'll talk a little bit more about why when I pull the planner out. Um, but I bought these so that I can color code this page in here um, a little bit more efficiently than what I'm doing right now. Um, so I'm going to assign the different colors on here different meanings based on my school calendar and then that way I can just kind of have an easy overview. But that does come with three sheets. So you've got the kind of pinks and purples on this page, there's a sheet of blues and greens, and then there's a sheet of these metallic circles as well. So I thought that would be a really good purchase. And I believe this was $7, so it wasn't super expensive. 
All right, and the last thing in my box is the planner, which I'm super excited about. I'm gonna move the box out of the way. Um, so first thing I'm seeing that excites me is I have the correct coil this year. Um, I, you guys have seen my current planner, so you know the whole fact that I have a rose gold coil on my current planner. Um, that was a mistake. I was supposed to have platinum and it's a long story that I'm not going to get into, but basically I got two different orders from Erin Condren that were both wrong. Um, but the one with the rose gold coil was actually usable, so I went with it. Um, so, but this is the new one. Um, so get the ruler as always. It is not blue. It has a protective film that I'll remove later. Um, and this is one of the Oh Joy covers, I think. I don't remember exactly. I just thought it was really pretty. And I did get my last name put on here instead of my Emily Lauren like I normally do because this is the planner that I intend to use for school. Um, so I'm just going to open it right on up. So here's the pouch with all the stuff that it talked about. Um, I'm not going to pull everything out because you guys saw on the card what was in there. But it's got the code, the compliment cards, a coil clip, and some labels. And then I got the colorful vertical for my teacher planner. Um, so, oh, it's so pretty. So I'm just going to flip through as I kind of talk about why I went with this particular planner. Um, so I've been a hardcore Erin Condren teacher planner user for a few years now. I'm going to actually zoom you guys in. Hold on. Okay, there we go. I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see better. Um, so I've been a hardcore user of the teacher planner for several years. Um, but as I have gotten further into my teaching career, I've really discovered that it's just not functional for me as a middle school teacher. Um, so I teach middle school theater. I teach anywhere from one to three preps per semester depending on the semester and depending on what the deal is with my seventh and eighth grade classes because I have drama seven, drama eight, and then honors drama. And sometimes drama seven and drama eight can be combined into one prep. Um, sometimes I can't do that. Sometimes I have to modify it a little bit more. Um, but so, you know, that's just kind of where I am with that. So I decided that the vertical planner would be a good way to try getting out of the teacher planner. The teacher planner is just big and bulky and has a lot of stuff that I don't use and a lot of stuff that I have to like really, really mess with and play with to get it to work. Um, so I ended up getting a school year, so July to June, colorful vertical um, to just give it a shot. Um, so I do have a few things in July that I'm going to be doing for work. Um, so I am probably going to end up just leaving in July. I had thought about taking July out completely because I don't need it technically. Um, but I think I am going to leave it because like Wednesday through Saturday of this week, I'll be at a conference for work and there's some other stuff I'll be doing for work as well. And I can always repurpose these pages for other things if I end up not putting anything in them. So, but yes, so I'm just going to flip through while you guys are here just to check the planner. I always do this with my Erin Condren's, um, just because I have seen weird things happen. Um, <laughs> this year I haven't heard much about errors with the brand new planners. Um, from what I've heard so far, this launch has gone very, very smoothly. I haven't seen a ton of crazy stuff like I did last year. Last year we had like hashtag waffle. <laughs> like everybody who got a messed up planner was using that hashtag. Um, so <laughs> there was quite a bit, but I haven't really seen much this year. I don't actually, I may not have seen anything this year yet, which is always good. Um, so the colors are a little bit different, um, which is kind of nice. It's a little weird, but it's kind of nice. So, but yeah, since I only teach a maximum of three preps, I was like, okay, well, like three boxes in the vertical will probably be perfect. Um, and just this way, like, I feel like it's a little more functional for me, just personally. So like, you know, the sidebar... I can use, 
Okay, let me get to actually a weekly page. So like I can use the sidebar as like a weekly to-do list because I always have weekly to-dos. And then I can have space, like a box per prep. And then I still have the space at the bottom for anything that's like day specific. Um, and it's also going to be a way for me to use up some of my like extra stickers from kits and stuff. Because I don't ever completely use a kit when I'm doing kits in my personal planner. So, I'm just going to keep flipping. So, of course, there will be some weeks in here that don't get used. Um, that's just kind of the nature of this planner because it is a dated planner. Um, but that's fine with me because I can put other things on those pages. I can repurpose that stuff. So, yeah. I'm just going to give you guys, you know, a flip through the whole thing. Um, I am still debating for my personal planner. Um, I am going vertical again. I always do vertical. I have tried horizontal. It doesn't work for me. I don't like the way the hourly is laid out because the hours are not functional for my schedule. I may be a teacher, but I'm not a morning person. Like, let's just be realistic. I am not a morning person. Um, so the hourly, just the hours don't work. And like, my brain just does not function in that way most of the time. So vertical is really like the ideal layout for me. Um, so I'm really just debating for my personal planner if I am going to do the colorful, which is what I have here, or if I'm going to attempt using the neutral next year, or what I'm going to do with that. I'm really not sure yet, um, simply because I'm currently in the colorful and I do like it. Um, but there is, you know, there's always the whole, well, with the neutral, you can hide the colors a little bit more. You don't have to worry so much about trying to match your kits to the monthly colors. Um, but I think seeing this in person, that it's not going to be much of a problem. Like, as long as you can cover the headers in the vertical boxes, I don't think it's going to be an issue now that I'm seeing it. I have to say, I do really love the colors this year. Like, these are absolutely gorgeous. They're very, like, they're not the super, super saturated tones that we've had in years past, but they're still really pretty and, like, you know, deep. Um, and I like how it is monochrome. Um, so it's the same color, just shades and tones of it for everything. So, so far I have legit like seen no issues, which makes me very, very happy. Um, and as long as I make it through the first like two weeks of June with no issues in this planner, I will be fine. Um, Cause I think, I know this year we go through June 8th and I think we're going through June 8th again next year maybe, or maybe we're going a little later than that. Or, sorry, we go through June 8th, so maybe it's the 7th. I'm not really sure. Um, but it looks like every week that we're in school is fine. Like, that's literally the first issue I've seen. There's like a tiny little dot there. And that's just not even worth calling them about. Like, that's dumb. It's just an issue with the paper, and there's no way to avoid that completely. Um, yeah, so we got some good notes pages. I like that I'm still going to have my dot grid. That's something that I really like about the teacher planner. So the fact that I'm still going to have that is really nice. Um, and then there are coloring pages in the back, which will be fun for um, <laughs> those long, boring meetings that just last forever that could have been handled in a five minute email. Yeah, <laughs> we have those. We hate them. Um, so there's also here contact information list, which is really nice. That will be good for me to have to write down. Um, some of the people that I need to be able to contact who are not within my district because I do have some people that I communicate with fairly regularly who are out of the district and that's just an easy way for me to always have their information. And then of course you have your 2020 calendar. I do wish that they would put July 2019 through June 2020 in this for the academic year version. Um, that is the one thing that I'm not loving about this planner. Um, 
but you know that's just a minor detail it's not a huge deal honestly because of where launch falls if i decide to go with the t or with the life planner for the following school year again i will have it in time to have my dates put in um so it's not a huge deal it's just you know one minor thing i would like to see in future yeah okay and then we get to the stickers i will honestly probably rip most of these out and put them aside for my personal planner because like really most of this stuff i'm not going to use in a teacher planner um because this is not stuff that i would use for school. Um, the one exception would be obviously these I will totally keep in here um, because those are totally useful. Love these things. All of their like basic stickers like this. Adore them. Use them all the time. Have tons of them. Um, so those will stay in but the other pages I will probably tear out and put with my extra stickers. Um, and then of course there is the folder in the back. Uh, this probably won't get used honestly this year um, just because I'm going to be teaching um, and then there is the perpetual calendar which I'm going to have to repurpose somehow I don't know what I'm going to do with that um, I don't know because I'm going to end up with another one because I am still ordering my personal planner as well um, but yeah so that's kind of where I am with that um, I feel like there was something else I was going to say and now it's just like gone uh, there was like a freebie sticker sheet on launch day that they were giving out. I guess they must have run out before they got to me. Although it was on my invoice, or not my invoice, but my shipping thing. So I don't know. I may ask about that. Um, you know, if they ran out and I don't get it, it's not the end of the world. It was a freebie. Um, so I'm not mad about it. It's not a big deal. I'm just going to ask and see like what happened because I was supposed to come. Um, but yeah, in terms of what I paid for, everything is here, so I'm happy. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited. Like, it's actually legit perfect, which is awesome. I have ordered a lot of planners from Erin Condren, and <laughs> I've had a lot of issues. But in terms of functionality, this is just the absolute best for me personally, um, which is why I keep coming back. Even though there have been issues, I prefer coil to dot to discs, so Erin Condren wins over Happy Planner there. I prefer this layout um, with the vertical, which most companies don't make, so Erin Condren wins there. I love this paper, and they do do a really good job of fixing their mistakes when they have them. So, you know, I keep coming back because I know that it may be a frustration, but it's gonna be made right. But yeah, so that was my order. Let me grab my goodies and kind of lay them out again um so i hope you guys enjoyed seeing this i will definitely be back with another one of these videos when i get my personal planner in um i will not have as much stuff in my personal planner order sorry i'm trying to like not blind anybody with that um there will not be as much stuff in my personal planner order just because i think i'm only ordering the planner itself i tried to get everything in this order because i did use my order 10 coupon code which was 50 dollars off um, and so, yeah, I won't have a lovely giant coupon code this time around, <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.